Okay, so if you guys missed the Zoom for your Wednesday, Thursday class, either blue or silver um, for November 4th or 5th, this is what we went over. So the last paragraph that you guys are going to write is your judgment paragraph, and that's your assignment for today. So you're going to click on the at home for workday number two, and then it goes through the directions for this. I'm going to um, go through my example for judgment video. You can watch that so you can better understand how to judge this piece of artwork. It's the same one we've been doing, that monster sculpture. And then you're going to watch the Your Judgment of this artwork video. That's just the playing of the monster sculpture again, so you guys can take a look at it. And then use this time as well to finish any of the paragraphs that you did not do. So past Friday assignments or this day one block this week, um, we should have description and interpretation from Friday assignments and analysis and judgment we did this week. So backtrack if you guys need any of those um, still to be turned in. The following suggestions may help you get started with judgment. So what do you think about the artwork? Okay, Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? And then tell me why you didn't like it. You could like some pieces or some parts of it. You could like the facial features, but you could hate the background that it's coming out of. That's okay. So I like, I dislike, and tell me why. And then talk about the technical skills. Is this something you could do? Is this something that um, you think is above or beyond your ability? And then the videos for that, you just click next. If you're still not sure what to write for judgment, you have your example right here of me judging this piece. And remember, you're not doing this piece. That's why I put my example. And then you guys are still working with this one right here, the judgment of the monster piece. That's the one that you guys do. And then you should be able to turn in your assignment over here in the judgment paragraph. And then see the directions in day number two. If you guys are just clicking the assignment, read those directions in there. Don't just try to do this assignment without reading any of the directions or looking at either of the videos. Um, if you finish that, know that, again, you need to finish your other paragraphs because Friday, you're gonna be organizing your paragraphs. So this is our Friday work. You're gonna be organizing them into essay format. So if you've been handwriting, I do want you guys to type this up and this is the format that I want you guys to put it in. Okay, so your description paragraph is first, put your first name, last name, class period. Art criticism essay is the title here. I was gonna have you guys do an intro and conclusion, but I'm just gonna nix that and have you guys just submit the four paragraphs together. It talks about the sentences that you need for each. If you forgot, or if you don't wanna backtrack to look at the questions here, I also have all of the questions and prompts that I gave you guys for each paragraph listed here. So it's just in one convenient location. If you guys need to add sentences, um, make sure that you guys looked at my feedback. If I didn't give you any feedback, your paragraphs are okay. If I said, make sure that you're talking about the three elements, make sure that you have five sentences, make sure you have eight sentences, um, make sure you change those so that way you don't get docked off points in your final essay. Okay, so if you guys have questions with that, just let me know. So the information is here. When we go to next, then you guys are going to be submitting your final essay here, turn in here, okay? Um, last thing, I've had a lot of, no, I've had a lot of worried parents with grades. Um, some of you guys are truly overwhelmed. Some of you guys are logging off the Zoom with me and watching Netflix, okay? Please make sure that you guys are using the time that you have to get the work done. You guys know you're the only ones that can tell me whether or not you're actually overwhelmed versus you're not using your time wisely. Um, we've had a lot of parents worried calling in about assignments, but in my mind, you guys are the students. They shouldn't be responsible. Your parents are not responsible for making sure you guys get your work done. Okay, I give you guys plenty of time to do the assignments in my class and I still have kids not completing it. So to me, it's not necessarily overwhelm. It's the inability to focus, to sit down, to get something done on your computer. I don't want you guys on your computer for the full 90 minute block. Um, when we do writing assignments like this, I'm not giving you 90 minutes of writing. If we are in level three next week and we do play, I will give you 90 minutes of play because I think it's important for you guys to step off the computer during that time. Um, so please, Release some of the stress on your parents. I know you guys are overloaded, which is why I'm trying to release some of that stress on you. Um, but take the stress off your parents, complete your assignments so they don't have to get on you about getting it done. For those of you that are doing all of your assignments, getting it done, doing what you're supposed to do, thank you very much. Um, again, if you guys have any questions about this block or Friday, just let me know.